Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's the only channel that I pronounce worse than Winston Churchill. Today we have week six. It's already week six. Insane. Predictions. And uh, for this week, are you starting? Yeah. Yes. It's for... No, you are not. For Thursday bye night... Weeks. Oh. <laughs> there are teams on the bye week. The yeah, Chiefs, Vikings, Rams, and, and Dolphins. Dolphins. Peyton, you're too slow. Uh, okay. Um, Wait! <laughs> no, no, you can go. You can go. You can go. Come on, <laughs> hurry up. For Stop. Thursday Night Football, we have the Niners versus the Seahawks. And obviously, you know, Brock Purdy, yes. Um, Seahawks, 42 to 20. Boo. I'm picking Seahawks. <laughs> Alright, so for next game, Jags, Bears, Jaguars. They beat the Colts at home. I knew it was going to happen. They haven't lost in like nine years and they have sucked ass in past years. And uh, one year they went like um, one in 15 and the one win was against the Colts. So, yeah, I'm going to pick Bears to win this because um, they still suck. The Jags still suck, but they did get that win. And the Bears actually did kind of look pretty good against their win against Carolina, which again, Carolina, but hey, it's still something. You know what? This guy was complaining earlier about how we had the same picks. So, wow. so you know what's going to happen? I'm switching my pick here. and I'm going to be picking the Jags to win 24 to 15. You know what? I am not. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Pick your gut. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, for this game, we have the Cardinals versus the Packers. Um, Cardinals beating the um, Niners. Yes. Last week, that was insane. The one time I didn't pick the um, Cardinals to be the upset win here. Um, and then we have the Packers. You know what? They're, they're the Packers. Why not? So I picked the Packers here. Uh, 30 to 26. Okay, so for this game, the Cardinals last week making that miracle comeback against the 49ers and the Packers narrowly edging out a win. I'm not really too confident in this team, but I am... Just barely going to give them the edge because I have some confidence that Jordan Love will come back to form. He's had a few weeks of rest, and maybe he can look really good this game. And then for the next game, we have the Colts and the Titans. For the Colts, Joe Flacco is a god, even though he's like 39 years old. And they take on the Titans, who will probably start Will Levis. If they don't start Will Levis, I might be inclined to pick the Titans. But for now, I am going to stick with the Colts here. Um, I'm picking the Titans. You know what? Same model as always, guys. The Titans will get it done eventually. They got it done last time they played, and then they got the bye week. So, here we are. Hopefully, they still have that we'll get it done tempo. Um, so, yes, Titans here. Um, 20 to 14. Um, and in the next game, we have the Texans versus the Patriots. Um, honestly, y'all know how I feel about the Patriots at this point. So I'm picking the uh, Texans here, um, 34 to 25. So for this game, <laughs> the Texans last week, uh, oh barely God. edging it out against the Bills. And then the Patriots, they lost to the Dolphins. Pretty sad showing. But you know what? Chaos reigns supreme in the NFL so far. So why not? I'm picking the Patriots to get the win this game. Because why not? And so for the next game, we have the Buccaneers and the Saints. So for the Buccaneers last week, narrowly losing to the Falcons. I really do think the Buccaneers should have had that game, but it just Same. barely the Falcons managed to edge out a win there in overtime. And they take on the Saints, who got clobbered by uh, the Chiefs. Clearly, even the curse wheel can't stop the Chiefs. So um, for this game, I am actually just going to pick the Saints, because for some reason, I've seen Derek Carr do really good against the Buccaneers. No other reason. Um, yet again, I'm going to say this over and over again. Don't you ever bet against, Don't Baker, bet Mayfield. against Baker Mayfield, as my father always says to me when uh, I talk about my picks. Um, you're going to have to, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, Bucks here, 20-18. to 18. Um, For the next game, we have the Browns and the Eagles. Um, honestly, just the Eagles here, um, 29 to 16. Mm. So for this game, the Browns last week, um, not good. 
They're not good. They're really bad. And they take on the Eagles, who aren't perfect, but they're all right. So I am actually going to pick the Browns this week, because why not? And because screw logic, and I want to pick up Vince Payton. And also, you know what? I have a feeling. I have a feeling the Browns are going to get the win this time. So for the next thing, we have the Commanders and the Ravens. So for the Commanders <laughs> last week, they showed their dominant offense. Dean Dale is not quite as effective, but he still did look pretty good. And then they take on the Ravens, another really hot team in the league right now. So this game could really go either way, but I am actually going to pick the Ravens to barely edge out a win here. Um, I'm also picking the Ravens here because screw the commies. Um, and the score being uh, 30 to 22. Um, and then for the next game, we have... No! Screw them. I'm picking the Commanders. Just because he said fuck the Commanders, I'm picking the Commanders now. Retroactively. Retroactively. Um, for this game, we have the Chargers versus the Broncos. Um, yes, the Broncos have won some upsets, which is actually insane. Um, and then, yeah, I just have the Chargers, so have been surprisingly well at the beginning of this. Um, so I'm going to be picking the Chargers here um, with the score being 28-23. Um, to All right, so for this game, I'm using Peyton's logic since the Rams lost last week and they're uh, the Chargers by. I think the Chargers are going to win this game against the Broncos. So over the next game, we have the Steelers and the Raiders. So over the Steelers last week, narrowly losing to Dallas, and that was sad. I, it was really close. That game also got delayed and didn't finish till like 1 in the morning or something like that. Jesus. And yeah, and then they take on the Raiders, who look rough, to say the least. So I am actually going to take the Steelers here. Um, hmm. hmm. You know what? Hmm. I'm also picking the Steelers here. Um, with the score being 19 to 13. Um, and then for the next thing, we have the Lions versus the Cowboys. Um, I don't really have much to say about these two teams, but 31 to 23. Mm -hmm. So last year, the Lions got robbed of a win against the Cowboys with that terrible ref calling. And so this game, I'm actually going to predict the Lions to rain down on the Cowboys and get revenge for what was stolen from them. So I am picking the Lions to win this game. So for the next game, we have the Panthers taking on the Falcons. So for the Falcons last week, Kirk Cousins having a remarkable game, setting a Falcon yardage one game record with 509 yards. Matt Ryan had the previous of 503 yards. And they My take on Ryan. the Panthers, who are not great, but the run game's good. So I'm picking the Panthers because I like Chuba Hubbard. So about that. Um, I am also picking the Panthers here. Um, with the score being 20 to 12. I had my picks done before you did. For the next game, we have the Bengals versus the Giants here. Um, honestly, y'all know how I feel. And honestly, the holder this last game made me so mad. Stop. If he wouldn't have dropped that ball in overtime. What are you doing? If you wouldn't have dropped that ball in overtime, the Bengals would have won that game easily. Especially with Lamar fumbling the ball twice. But you know what? It's fine. Um, so I have the Bengals here. Um, 42 to 7. Alright, so for this game, we have the Bengals who lost um, and the Giants who won. So Giants win. And I'm actually predicting a blocked field goal by the Giants. The Giants block a Bengals field goal in this game. And that will be worth a point if they do. So for the final game, we have the Bills and the Jets. So for the Bills last week, <laughs> I, uh, losing narrowly to the Texans, I'm not too concerned. The Texans seem to be a pretty good team. And then the Jets, um, they lost to Sam Darnold. He didn't play that great, but Aaron Rodgers really didn't come My in clutch for Jason. them. And um, he also kind of screwed everything up. So I am actually going to go with the Bills to get the win this week. I'm also picking the Bills this week. Mm. <clears throat> um, not much to really say. Um, just I really hope that what happened in the Bills versus Texans game, that it doesn't come down to that again. 
because I'm going to be very upset. Um, with the score being uh, 24 to 23. Mm. All right. So that will do it for our week six predictions. Go away. All right. So for the next game. No. All right. So for the. <sighs> I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. Do, do, do. Bitten, are you a unicorn? <laughs> nope. I'm not. Ow. It's hard. Hey guys, it's our day in the life video. Today, it is 10.30 at night. Our regularly scheduled program. Oh my god. A regular scheduled program. <laughs> a day in the life video. A day in the life video. A day in the life Yep. Mm. Hello, welcome to the channel. The only channel where I cannot pronounce... Kennel? Oh my god. <laughs> the only channel where I pronounce worse than Winston Churchill. Yo, 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 what is up, gang? 